Two months ago. All right, we're here with another reaction of UFC 309. You guys can continue talking. In the women's division, we have uh, Karini Silva versus uh, Viviani Ariujo. I went with uh, Silva in this fight. Honestly, I don't know a lot about these two. I don't think I've ever seen a fight of theirs. I watched some film. Um, I'm not sure why this card, this fight was on the main card. No offense to these ladies. I'm sure they're good fighters. I just feel like it's kind of a random fight to put on the main card when you could have put some more well-known fighters. But, you know, after this fight, maybe we'll know these two and they'll be a household name. The Weidman disrespects. Vivek Ramaswamy! <laughs> it's Vivek! I love Vivek. The first five guys kept yelling. Uh, that, sometimes I tune you no, I tune you guys out when I'm talking. Unfortunately, <laughs> like there's sometimes you guys will say something to me and I'll go yep, and like I'm actually just like on autopilot. I don't mean to do that, but it's what happens. All right, okay, let's let's try not to fall asleep here, just because I don't know these two. All right, come on, let's do something. Come on. I'm feeling a nap time coming on here. Come on, ladies. Let's do something. Get to work. If Herb Dean was in there, he'd be like, come on, work. I mean, it's a filling out process. So. Kick by Silva. Overhand by Silva missed. Nice j a punch by uh, Ade Ujo. Walt, did you give an official prediction for this fight? Okay. Jack, official prediction. <laughs> Force is like, I just want to see John Jones. Wardrobe malfunction. I want to see a wardrobe malfunction during a Paige Van Zandt and Macy Barber fight. That would be good too. Uh, there's an eye poke by uh, Ada Ujo, maybe. And they're using the old gloves in this uh, this card because John Jones didn't like the new gloves, so they, you know, well, their way to accommodate the goat. Uppercut by Ada Ujo. Karina Silva was a different chick. Never mind. I thought she was Natalia Silva. That's crazy. <laughs> no, she's fought two Silvas in a row. That's so confusing. It is. I just knew it wasn't Anderson Silva, so. There were no, the, Anderson Silva doesn't have any tattoos that I recall. Well, ladies, uh, they've officially done exactly what we thought they would do. Well, I hate if you're a fan of these two ladies. I just don't know a lot about either. I don't know anything about either of them other than the the, the, the film that I watched uh, when I did my right before I did my predictions video, and everything that I saw, I kind of forgot about already. So I remembered how to say Ada Ujo. <laughs> That's all I remember, basically. Uh, I think during my predictions, I said Kareem Silva. Maybe I didn't, though. I, I don't remember. Yeah. All right, so I got Pizza Extreme. Walt's going to take a bite of this Pizza Extreme. How's the pepperoni? How's the sauce? How's the crust? A lot of people would like a thin crust. I hate thin crust. Well, the sauce. Hey, savory cheese. Pepperoni. It's also savory, but not like unique. It's a, it's a mild pepperoni. I could have got extra spice or spicier pepperoni. Maybe next time I'll remember that. I think the the sauce really carries and it does a good job. I like the cheese. Why is there a little crust by it? That's good. And they're still dancing around the octagon. Hope you guys enjoyed that pizza review by the goat, Walt. 
<laughs> oh, she wobbled her. Oh, nice shot by Silva. A clinch. Seven eight. Oh, for the pizza? pizza? Okay. Oh. Silva did like a standing hammer fist, if I recall. That's how she wobbled her. All right. I'm going to give that round to Silva, but who knows? I was kind of not paying attention. We'll be back for round two. Maybe. All right, we're back for round two. Surprisingly, between Ade Ujo and Silva. I gave the first round to Silva because she picked it up at the end of the round. Nice one-two combination by Ade Ujo. Nice uppercut by Ade Ujo. Of course, we have UFC 310 coming up next month in December. The main event now is uh, Pantoja versus the guy coming over from the other organization that I can't remember his name, Al Skarakov. And then you have the co-main event is going to be uh, Ian Machado Gary versus uh, Shavkat Rachmanov in a five-round number one contenders fight. It is not for an interim title. And, of course, you got Nick Diaz versus... Uh, Vicente Luque. On the prelims, you have a fight that I'm really looking forward to. Nate Landwer versus one of my favorite fighters, Do Ho Choi. Let's go. I'm excited for a prelim fight. That's always a good thing. If you guys didn't know that, that's one of the fights in the prelims. He dropped out now. Oh. When the hell did that happen? When The Rock Johnson came out with Red One, he said, fuck it. Garembo. Because oh, if she Diaz is on really hard drugs, oh. he's not doing well. Oh, nice. He was setting fires. Like, dude, he's in a random, like... Oh, well... Oh, nice shot by Silva. Dude, Silva, let's fucking go. Finish her. Take down. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Out of Ujo's going to spin this around. Yeah, Gra fence grabber. I think a fence grab should automatically be a point taken away. If you see it, a point take. Garter is so fucking bad at fence grabs. That should be an automatic point taken away because you see it, they know not to grab the fence. It's not an accidental thing. They grab the fence on purpose. Maybe by instinct they grab it, but they know not to do it. Where if you accidentally poke someone in the eye, you can't help it if you accidentally do that. Except when you're John Jones and... And other fighters that like to poke eye pokes. Which I haven't seen Jones poke anybody in the eye since the uh, Teixeira fight. So I don't know why people are talking about eye pokes so much with him. Uh, is Silva bleeding too? Okay. Some hammer fist by Silva. Uh oh, arm bar. She's got it almost. Yeah, no, she doesn't. It's just some rest. Triangle. Uh-oh. Nice jujitsu. Good, uh, good grappling, good jujitsu, side control. I really like Loki Joe was trying to force that reaction so hard. I don't think it was that close. But now she's inside control. She's much more safe. Oh, she got the arm locked again. Fucking Nate Diaz or Nick Diaz pulled out. Did I say Nate when I said that or Nick? I can't remember who I said. Okay. Okay. Diaz is pulled out against the Luke A fight for the second time. Uh oh. This should do it. There's no way out of this. She can't get out of this. Tap! 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 Tap, you 
Come on! I want to finish! <laughs> Tap! <laughs> I, he, she must not have it because it's not even affecting her. I now know. it should! It's under the chin. I oh. Know. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, this fight ended up being kind of fun. Yeah. An arm bar attempt. What flavor is that? Is that the sour apple one still? Caramel apple. Yeah. This is brew. So good. 15 seconds left to go in the round. Ada Ujo wants an arm bar again. Yeah, but. Both of them are a bloody mess. We'll be back for round two. I'm going to give that round to Silva because she had the more damage and, you know, the more time doing the damage. Yeah. So it should be 2-0 Silva and Ada Ujo needs a finish. Anyway, we'll be back for round two. All right, it's round three between Kareen Silva and uh, Viviani Ada Ujo. I have a 2-0 Silva. That last round, though, uh, Ada Ujo did some good things. Uh, she has some – she's a better fighter than I thought she was. Takedown attempt by uh, Silva. Stuffed. Trying for a takedown. She's going to get it, I think. Oh, she got her down. And Ada Ujo turns it over. Nice. Probably going to go for another submission. I just want to see a finish. So whatever you guys have to do to get a finish. You know, the longer this fight goes, the more chance it has to get a copyright claim. So if you want me to repulse this reaction right away, you need to have a finish in this fight. But it might already get a copyright claim. But it's not like it won't be viewable. It'll take 48 hours because I'll dispute it right away. And then I'll be able to post it. And then eventually... Right away, or it takes sometimes 30 days. They'll re remove the copyright claim. So rule number one, don't make J-Dev mad and have a copyright claim on the reaction. A finish? I never have copyright claims, claims on a finish. These ladies are gassed. Oh, she caught her foot and just fell down. Adi Ujo should give everything she has and just go at her right now. Ah, Joe knows what I'm smelling. Or knows what I'm cooking, I should say. Or Joe smells what I'm cooking, I should say. Pretty good fight by these ladies, and, and despite our annoyance of these two, might be fight of the night. I don't know. Nice shot by. Uh, While well, they're both connecting at the same time. That's the first time I've heard somebody's dented in the face. <laughs> I think her face might be compromised after that. Up kick by. Uh, <laughs> Joe's going to start saying that now. Oh. She, there she goes. She fell down again. She reminds me of Charles Oliveira. See, this should be a 10-8 round, in my opinion. She's not doing anything. She keeps falling down. I mean, you're... Well, I don't know about that. The women's division is a little weak, in my opinion, so they need as many women as they can. Someone's got to step up with the goat out. Because I wasn't even impressed with Kayla Harrison in her last fight. The goat needs to come back. The female goat. Amanda Nunez. That woman is fucking dangerous. Nice leg kick by uh, Ada Ujo. Oh, what the hell? Mark Goddard to push her back down. <laughs> her being <would be> like, <laughs> work! Oh, 
What else is happening at UFC 310? I think there's another fight on the main card that's really good. Yeah. It's a good card. Yes, that's another good one. I mean, yeah, that's an interesting fight. I don't know who's going to win that one because uh, Reyes finally won a fight again. Anth but Anthony Smith is the GOAT. So. I think there's another fight on the main card that's really good, too. But I'm really excited when, for Nate Landwehr versus Duho Choi. That'll be, I'll definitely be reacting to that one. Uh-oh. Viviana Araujo with control now. I don't know if she's going to win the fight. Yeah, she, I don't think she won that one of the first two rounds. Anyway, that's the end of the round. Uh, I'm going to give the, the round out of Ujo, but I think Silva won the fight. But who knows? Joe Rogan seems to think that's not the case. We'll be back for the official decision. I forgot to say that Bruce Buffer's in the act count for the official decision. All three judges have scored the contest for the winner. Wow, I Ari Ujo won. Joe Rogan knew it. Ari Ujo wins the fight. Wow, okay. Uh, I would. I'm a little mad at, for Ari Ujo for grabbing the fence a lot or trying to grab the fence. I don't like that. That's uh, cheating, in my opinion. Uh, Leon Edwards does that too. Yeah, I don't like that. But anyway, congratulations to her. I got to pick wrong tonight. That might be, uh, I might get one more wrong tonight, too. Tulsi Gabber. Yeah, anyway, like and subscribe. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. I think that's Triple H right there, too. Be after the next one.